Tasha, who's ringside with us here, was, but he's definitely a game fighter. Folks, coming up next will be Peter Ertz versus Everton and Jashira. As the final 16 continues here in Seoul, what a dramatic night it has been. Just amazing single problem. I can't hear anything. It's not on. Ours not working either. Do me a favor. It's not working. None of them are working. Testing, testing, testing. Hello, testing. Hello, testing. One, two.
Smashing Karate Champion Evident Hishida. A five-time All-American Full Contact Karate Champion. He comes off a devastating knockout win over Alex Roberts. We are joined ringside, folks, by Sugar Ray Sephor. And you know because Ray is here, the good-looking girls are right behind us, mate. They can't be called Sugar Ray is here. here, here, here. Watch, let's do this. We've been wanting to do this for a while. It is great to have you here ringside. Yeah, brother, it's so always a pleasure. Great effort on one week's notice against Ty Road. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I wanted to uh, do a little bit more, but obviously, you know, uh, we'll be back. Okay, folks, meanwhile, his sparring partner, Everton Teixeira, gets set to take on Mr. K-1. Look at the condition here of Peter Ertz, Triple K-1 world champion, who until last year held the record for the fastest Grand Prix victory of all time. Six minutes 43 in winning his 1998 title. And Teixeira has the massive Jokashin support behind him as always here in Seoul. We are set for three by three minute rounds. Earth who has been in every Grand Prix since 1993, except for last year's. Can he make it there once more? His teammate Labana disgracing himself by walking out of the arena instead of fighting an extra round against Kyotaro. Teixeira, Kyokushin, Ichigiki Pride rests in his hands and legs. Michael Chavello, Mike Kogan, Ray Sefo with you. I gotta say, in the, you know, Jerome's defense, I thought he won that fight after three rounds. Oh, really? Yeah. We thought it was a draw and a, and a legitimate draw. It should have gone to the extension round, so we were... A round kick. Caught on the forearms. Teixeira looks to set that right hand. It's a beautiful right cross the Brazilian possesses. Can he work it to the jawline of Ertz? And there's the first shot from Teixeira. Ertz has got to be careful not to drop that lead hand. Everton did that well. He actually counted off Peter's shots. Peter Ertz needs to sling to the legs here and then maybe try and loop that round kick to the head. It used to be his signature. It's been a while since we've seen it. And there goes to Shearer with that counter right hand again. Ray, you know how quick that right hand is of Everton. You've sparred him many a times at Ichigeki Plaza. And, and he's very strong with it also. Uh, Peter just needs to keep that, after that jab, bring that, you know, left hand right back to his head. Peter actually just landed a pretty powerful straight cross and then lost his footing. Well, it actually, uh, the center kicked his front leg out, so. Left hook, overhand right from Teixeira, looking for a knee on the inside. And the referee just going to caution Everton there. Teixeira, who suffered one of the worst knockouts in history last year at the Grand Prix, when he was kneed into outer space by Alistair Overeem. He just got to keep his hands up if he wants to, you know, just to stay in this fight. Everton's been very sharp with that one-two or oh, that overhand right. Good overhand right there from Everton. Looks like he has a lot more focus behind him here tonight, as evident to Teixeira. For that matter, so too, Peter Ertz. The size of the shoulders, the deltoid just popping here of Peter. It seems like the older he gets, the better he looks. Yeah, right? <laughs> but he also seems like he looks right where he needs to be weight-wise and strength-wise, as opposed to his last fight against Kiyotaro when he just looked completely depleted. Well, I mean, this is where he should be. I mean, he should have never fought, you know, Kintaro as that such a lightweight because Peter never, I don't think Peter's ever fought in that weight. He before. said he's, he hasn't been 100 kilos since he was in what, diapers or something. I don't know. <laughs> Counter right hand there from Ertz. Overhand right and a left hook from Teixeira. Teixeira has been honing his boxing with five for Lamoy. He's also got the great Francisco Filio in the corner. Double right hand from Ertz. Teixeira just caught it on the dreadlocks and counts it. Moves in for a clinch, no knee on the inside. Final 10 seconds of the opening round. It has been a good, solid first round here for both of these men. 
Teixeira continually looking for his hands. One round down, two remaining. Otu comes in as a favourite with the bookmakers. A $1 bet gets you $1.70 for the win. Teixeira, a $1 bet gets you $2 for the win. Ray, how did you see the first? Pretty even, pretty even. I mean, the one thing I don't want to see is that. Feet are kicking too close inside because everything has been very sharp with that right hand. So... If Peter kicks too close inside and he counters with that right hand, it could put him away. Ray, while we've got you here, I wanted to ask you about the actions of Jerome LeBena. I personally thought it was very prima donna, very unsportsmanlike. I know that maybe he was protesting the decision. Mike and I genuinely thought it was a draw. You thought it was a result for Jerome. Either way, it was a close fight. But as a K1 fighter of such long standing, go out on your shield. Don't walk out. No, no, I totally agree with that. And it's a fact is that it's a Grand Prix decision. You know, he's got to go to a Grand Prix. He's fighting to go to a Grand Prix. So he definitely needed to fight. All three judges giving the first round 10 all. So we've got a draw after one. Two more remaining. Good right hand, a high left round kick from Peter Ertz. And look at Teixeira, he wants to stand toe to toe and throw down with Mr. K1. Trade of leg kicks, it was Peter who drew the short straw. Inside thigh kick from Teixeira. The slap just reverberates around this massive arena. Teixeira's hands are looking devastatingly fast so far. Nice jab outside thigh kick combination from the Brazilian. It's the best I've seen to set his hands, actually. He's been doing the hard rounds, Everton. Do you think that Peter thought it'd be a little easier than what he's receiving in centering at the moment, Ray? Well, it is possible, but Peter's going to work off his jab, be patient, keep it you know, showing that low kick and come back left hook, right hand. But he's got to keep his hands up. Nice right hand. Almost knocked the beard off him. And again from Ertz, then he chops downstairs. That's the aggression we've come to love from Mr. K1. Just when you think that Ertz is lulling, he can turn it on in a hurry and really range that aggressor meter. All tied up and they tango back against the ropes. But Sugar Ray is right, Mike. It is the best we have seen of Everton in his recent career. Yeah, I mean, most definitely. He's, he's very determined. He's, he's thrown with some mean intentions, and I don't know. Peter's starting to look a little tired. I don't know if that's just yeah, I think my Peter observation. Just needs to relax. You know, Peter has a lot of experience. He just needs to relax a little bit. Everton, on the other hand, he's being aggressive, and that's great. Nice high right round kick from Peter. Everton counters beautifully with the right cross. The full extension, turning the hips into the punches. Peter checks the leg kick. So Everton goes to the other leg. I mean, Everton's nice looking very anywhere. confident, not just aggressive, but he's very, very confident in what he's doing. Right. Peter wades forward with the front kick, and Everton again just pounces on him. The Brazilian putting on a show here in the second, with 45 seconds remaining. Peter needs to keep his hands up when he actually backs off like that, but Everton needs to actually follow up with the left hook. Teixeira has shown no respect for Ertz. Many people are overwhelmed when they fight a man of Peter's luster. Not Everton Teixeira. There is rumour that Teixeira may take a break from K1 in 2011 to once again go for the World Chokashin Open Championships. Beautiful head kick there from Ertz. That's why he earned the nickname the Lumberjack. His trademark kick. Ertz trying to steal the round. But I think it's been a good one for Teixeira. Two down, one remaining. First to you, Sugar Ray. I, I say it's a draw. I'll give it a draw. If anything, they probably edge a little bit on Peter's side. But I, I, I would score that an even round. And Mike, as Tom Herring gives the instructions there to Peter Ertz, you are dead on the money, brother Ray. Ten points apiece. Say all three judges, Mikey, First of all, what does Peter need to do in the next round to step it up? Well, I think Peter needs to step it up with his with his leg kicks and try to go to Everton's body with the leg kicks, try to soften him up a little bit. And Ray, for Everton to move ahead in the third, what does the Brazilian need to do? He needs to be a little bit more aggressive with his hands. Keep, you know, keep that jab down, close the distance, fast, throw one, two, three down the center. You see that trademark patented high right round kick that he tries to loop around the back of the neck. Peter Ertz 
This is a fantastic contest. He said earlier how Everton has been criticised as being a boring fighter in the past. There is nothing boring about his style here tonight. He has turned it on. Just like that. You see how you threw that one, two, three, Peter back off? Look at Everton wanting the roughhouse tactics on the inside. I have never seen this aggression from Teixeira before, Ryan. Absolutely. I mean, he obviously really wants to win. You know, he's got um, Sheehan over here and he's got Sheehan in the corner. And obviously they're saying, um, listen, we want you to go to the Grand Prix. So he's out here trying to win this fight. His fight in the final 16 here last year against Singhart JD was the greatest K1 snooze fest I have ever seen. Tonight, a year later, a complete turnaround for Teixeira Mike. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, we were the ones criticized this fight in the final 16, questioning if he even belongs in the final 16. Uh, you know, he's definitely a, a totally revamped Teixeira here. He's doing great. His stamina looks much better. I mean, if this fight continues at this pace, Ray, it'll probably be a draw and it'll go in the extension round. Which well, definitely without will favor uh, 100% Teixeira. it's going to go to a draw. I mean, it's going to be an extension round, 100%. Yeah, because so far, even though... Peter Arch, I mean, Teixeira looks the more fresher of the two. Peter is there, man. He's game. Yeah, Peter's a warrior. Oh, the high right round kick. And it's trying to lop his head off and again wades forward. Gut munching knee tries to fold him in half. Peter's been around. You know, he's fought the best of the best. He's fought everybody. And sitting that right hand and lets it fly. Counter right from Everton. They back in front of our commentary position. Both men throwing knees to the rib cage. And Peter is trying to soften him up with the body shots to right. knees instead of Especially kicks. when but... he's on inside. I like to see Peter throw that jab and the uppercut behind it. He's tried the one two. And then I like to see Everton counter with the overhand right. Peter hurts. Both men trade leg kicks, nicely done, just above the inside thigh, then to the outside thigh from Everton. Double forearm guard against the round kick. Good right hand lead there from Everton. Ernst ties him up, digs away to the lower left rib cage. These two men have not relented. There has been no pause for breathing for almost three rounds now. We're moving to the final minute and still someone can go Klepto. Still someone can steal it like a thief of the night. Will it be Teixeira with those right hands? Peter can't throw those short knees like that because Everton, if he throws that overhand right, it's going to land. Going to keep his chin down and hands up. Peter, Round that kick. is. Everton trying to pin Ertz in the corner, but the old man of K1 just keeps going on. Stunning right hand from Peter, the uppercut on the inside. High right round kick going for the headache maker, then switches up to the liver section. Everton trying to manhandle. He is a very thickly built human being, Teixeira. You realise when you stand next to him just how thick in the body he is. Ray, this one could go an extension round. Absolutely, I think it will. Yeah, I think this fight's going to see the extension round, and I don't know. I mean, Peter looks like he's tired, but he's not fighting like he's tired, so... Peter's been around. I mean, like, you know, that, that dude is, you know, he's a great warrior. He's a great fighter, and, he, you know, he, he would look tired, but he's, he's going to keep working. He's trained hard for this. I'm sure he had eight weeks to get ready for this fight, so, you know, he's not going to lay down. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's in phenomenal shape, at least uh, visually. He, he looks great. He's looking really good. <laughs> Peter Ertz pumps his fist into the air. We have certainly seen a fantastic fight toe-to-toe -to -toe for three rounds. Genuine sportsmanship there. There's a possibility that a judge could, make, could give it to Peter. I think that would be a robbery. I mean, I think Everton deserves to be in the extension round yeah. for sure. I, I think so. Oh, the share got the one. Peter. It is a draw. Okay, we are going one more round. Now, Peter Ernst thought he won it, but he's not going to get out of the ring here like his training partner, Jerome LeBanner, and punk out. 
Well, I mean, I mean, there's a huge difference. I mean, like, you know, this fight was pretty even. I thought Jerome actually, you know, won that fight. But so. then he's not, listen, but you don't just walk no, out. No, no, I, 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 I totally I agree won, with so you guys. I agree lose. with you guys. Hey, I have seen you push to two extension rounds in Taiwan. That is true. Push to some ridiculous extension rounds over the last two years. You have never, ever pumped out of a fight. That is true. I mean, you know, this is the, this is the finals for the Grand Prix. So it doesn't has, get any bigger than this. Right. So, you know, he should have st stayed there and, you know, keep doing what he did. He was winning the fight. And it's all in the history books. It will be debated right around the world. But meanwhile, we have the first of two possible extension rounds here. And they touch gloves. Ertz with a big smile. Body shot from Ertz. Will he start to go to the midsection of Everton to share Chap two from Mr. K1, he just comes forward. The rippling veins popping through his biceps. I also want to add that I was at the back when I, you know, I saw Jerome. He's actually uh, uh, took out and broke his nose. I, I thought he looked like he broke his nose. Yeah. When Jerome was leaning over this way, I was like, right. man, that nose looks broken. Yeah, that broken. nose has been broken at least a dozen times. Oh, we're looking for the high knee. No love for GLV here from Chevella today. <laughs> Ertz trying to cut off the movement here. Leads him with the jab. Nice round kick to the rib cage from Peter Ertz. Teixeira cannot afford to slow down here. Ertz winds up the round kick off the back leg. I think at the end of the day, the first person to slow down will lose this fight because right. they're duking it out. It's pretty hard to score who's landing and who's not and who's doing what. Well, right now, Peter's the aggressor. He's always coming forward. Everton needs to push this fight and push him forward uh, or push Peter back, should I say. And now, you know, to be able to get the judges, persuade the judges. Right now, I think Peter is actually winning the fight. Nice one, two up the center there from Everton. Good forearms guard, and he counters off it with another one, two. That being the jab cross, lines up that bread and butter combination again to Teixeira. And so far, the judges have been dead on, even though you disagree with them on a GLB fight. I think they've been dead on I all agree. throughout, and we're the first ones to criticize sometimes what they're watching, but the judges have been dead on here. Well, I thought my fight should have been an extra round. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see Brother Ray still got his sense of humor intact. We are ticking down, one minute eight remaining in the first extension round. Nice right oh, hand from Everton! That, that, Peter's that, been backed up! That hurt Peter, that overhand right hurt Peter. Everton needs to step back and fire that overhand right left hook. Teixeira goes for the inside fire. He's got to continue to come forward and throw down. High knee from Teixeira. The meet and greet. Ertz lumbers forward. He's sitting that round kick. Peter's been working the body third round, and he started working the body in his fourth round, and I think it's paying a toll on Teixeira yep. because he's... Everton yep. gets backed up with the right hand from Ertz! Peter's landing that right hand. He's slowing down. Everton is slowing down significantly here. This but one's going to go down to the wire, Exactly, right. and this is the experience of Peter. You know, this is where experience coming in, and Peter's pushing forward. You can see he's tired, but he won't quit. I have a feeling he's cut. Oh, Everton is cut yeah. over the left eye. Right in front of our commentary position. Could have been a headbutt. He'll be okay to go on here. It's to the side of the eye, just above the eyebrow. What a war this has been. Ray, I thought this would be, if there was one card to pick as the sleeper on the night, I thought this may be it. But this has been one of the best fights here tonight. Well, absolutely. I mean, Everton obviously knew that. And, and you know, the Kyokushin people knew that to fight Peter, he's going to have to come out, be aggressive, and, and try and get the decision. And keep a high pace. Right, yeah. exactly. Good jab from Teixeira. Peter tries to drill the Muay Thai knee. Overhead right. Blood. Listen to this place erupt. Peter smells blood. He smells it. Yeah, exactly. Well, literally he smells it, but K1 is oh, alive. Oh, you should. It's right there. And we come to the end. Ray, will we go another extension No, round? Peter won that for sure. I, I, I would, Peter won that round for sure. Mike. He's speechless. <laughs> no, no I, was, I was, you know, I'm squished between Australia and New Zealand. If there was an island between the two, that would be me. Let me give you a hint for broadcasting. When I say Mike, it that means you. you. Yeah. I you, well, you, fixed, you fixed my mic. I thought you I'm thought my mic was off. Oh. <laughs> or maybe you were calling yourself.
Okay, but Ray thinks most, that Peter's most, got this one. Most definitely. I think Peter got it. Peter did exactly what he needed to do. The experience kicked in. He stayed aggressive, and that's impressing the judges. He stayed moving Absolutely. forward. He cut to Shara. I mean, he did everything that you need to do to impress the judges in the fourth round when you really don't feel like going to the fifth round. That said, let me say, I was the most impressed by Everton tonight that I've ever been in his K1 career so far. I, I agree. I mean, that's the best fight I've ever seen him fight. Again, we go back to, you know, the last time he fought, it was a sleep fest. He came out tonight and proved that he can be exciting, and that's exactly what he did. So maybe Everton and Pocherok uh, as the alternates in the final 60, I mean, final uh, of the World GP. He can try to find candidates. the first judge's call. Peter Arts. He's done it! Peter Arts is back where he belongs! Mr. K1 returns to the Grand Prix! Brother Ray, one of the old guard is through! I'm excited for Peter. I'm happy for Peter. I'm a little bit sad for Everton because, you know, I love these two guys. Peter's a great warrior, he's a great fighter, he's a good friend. So it's great to see him there. Everton, on the other hand, he's a friend, he's a spar partner. So I'm kind of torn in two places. But hey, at the end of the day, it's good to see Peter back in but, the Grand Prix. But so far, it's been the young guys that are moving forward and leaving the old lions behind. And here you got one old lion that got through. So it's got to get some blood pumping in you, Ray. Hey, hey, absolutely. Hey, hey, hey you know what? I'm going to be in the Grand Prix. Did I tell you that? No. I'm, just <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that somebody will get into Bob. I don't want to, you know, send that sort of Take you it know what? You Just in case, I say you start your training camp. Now, I am. So you get more than a week notice. You'll be like, hey, you know yep. what? I've been training. Yes, sir. Peter Ertz is through. Mr. K1 will be back in the Grand Prix. The only time he ever missed it was last year. He's been in every Grand Prix since it started in 1993. He'll be there again for the 2010 edition. Evidence is sure if I was wearing a hat, I would take it off to you, sir. Because tonight was your finest performance. The great Francisco Chico Filio. Congratulating to Shera. He did Kyokushin proud. And my word, am I excited, just like brother Ray and Mike Kogan are excited. You should be excited wherever you're watching us around the world. Mr. K1 is back, baby. There's Murad Buzidi, one of Ertz's Protégés in the corner. What a performance.